y'all? I'm coming straight out the hood with the goods about Athenium. This is the intro for the Hatcher Show. He didn't want to do nothing, so he's standing there. Athenium is a brand new card game that I have been asked to review in this sponsored video. So not only did I get the game, but I got this sweet hoodie to boot. What we're gonna do is take a look at the mechanics of the game, the components that come in the box, I'll let you know how the game flows, and then give you an overall verdict on whether it's worth your time or not. So the basic idea of the game is to summon up enough beasts to reduce your opponent's life total down to zero. So you're gonna start out at 10 life each and using your creatures, you're going to pound them down into submission. Some of these creatures will be small. They'll be dwarves and things of that nature. Some of them will be titans that are so big they could tear apart the earth. You take on the role of a supremely powerful sorcerer who can draw these beings into existence and use them to fight your battles. And so you end up in titanic confrontations against other people who can wield the same level of power. In terms of gameplay, it's very straightforward to learn. If you have any experience playing any other trading card game, you'll already have a very good grasp of what to do. You start out with a handful of seven cards. You play your creatures out on the board, use them to attack your opponent, and they will use their creatures to defend against yours. You get to put the creatures out using resources known as MacGuffins. They're broken down into three different categories, and you can choose which category you want to play each turn. So you are guaranteed to have the resources you need and get to ramp up the way that you want to. There is no random resource generation in this game. In terms of the speed of gameplay, combat happens very quickly. You blow through a lot of cards because the game allows you to draw back up to your full hand size every single turn. And on top of that, the game also allows you to discard any number of cards in your hand once a turn, which means you can theoretically, if you want to, discard your entire hand and go back up to having seven new cards. So whatever strategy you're trying to round out, you're gonna have an easy time getting more fuel for it, and you're not going to sit there twiddling your thumbs, staring at each other while nobody can do anything. When it comes to the actual combat of the game, Every creature is forced into combat at once. So it's just a big old squad versus squad scrum. So you will not end up being able to pick your best guys and hold them back. You have to just swing as a whole. Your opponent has to block as a whole. So bodies hit the floor constantly. In terms of the actual creatures that are in the game, there is a wide variety. You have well over 40 different choices. They all have unique artwork and they feature quotes from different literary works, different famous characters or famous authors. So you have that little additional level of flavor to enjoy as well. Now, the creatures in the game come in three different colors. Each creature will have one color they're strong against and one color that they're weak against. But this isn't uniform across all cards of one color. It adds a whole nother level into your planning, and it certainly threw me for a loop at first when I started because I just presumed they all had the same stats, and that led me to getting smacked around by my buddy when he took advantage of the fact that my dudes were weakened when I thought they would be strong. So Athenium cards look like this. At the top, you have the name of the card. Below it, you have the artwork depicting the creature itself. And then you will have a large sphere with a number in it. That tells you both the color and the cost of the creature. Beside that, you have its bonus and its negative. So plus one and minus one. And these will vary from creature to creature. And at the very bottom, you have a little bit of flavor text. A single turn in Athenium goes like this. You start by drawing up to seven cards. Then you pick one of the resource MacGuffins, you put that onto the board in front of you, and you can then use that to cast creatures from your hand. Now you can only use each MacGuffin once a turn. So you turn them sideways to represent they've been used. Once you bring those creatures out, then you can choose whether you want to attack your opponent or not. If you attack, all your guys attack, all their guys block, you resolve the combat, and then if you want to, you can discard cards from your hand and your turn is over. 
It's very straightforward. There are no interaction spells that happen during your turn that happen from your opponent casting them. So basically you repeat this turn sequence back and forth until one of you has reduced the other to zero life points. There's a fun little extra added into the game that I didn't even know about until the creator of the game told me, hey, if you take a look on the back of the cards, it will actually let you know what color the next card is. So you do have a little bit of an advantage in terms of planning what you're going to get off the top of the deck but because you go through so many cards, you'll be discarding three, four, five cards, whatever it is, drawing up to seven, you'll find that it does give you a bit of an advantage, but it's not something you can really use to overpower your opponent, and it's not something that's going to give you a massive advantage. And again, it is universal knowledge, so your opponent's going to be able to see what color you're drawing as well. So there is that sort of balancing factor. Now for me, this is a great game in terms of something that you want to play quickly and easily. Do you want to be able to grab a little portable box that you can stuff into your Athenium hoodie and wander off down to the pub or whatever it is, or wherever else it is you want to go? Then this is the perfect kind of vibe for it. It's not going to feed into your need for a high level of complexity because there isn't a insane number of mechanics that you'll find in some other games that have a larger field of depth, but for what it's meant to be a casual let's go style game, it's got replayability. I actually, the first time I played this game was when I met up with a friend that I hadn't seen in decades. We were getting together to play games and when I pulled the game out and explained the rules to him, he was so happy that it was a simple, easy to understand game that we didn't have to spend a whole bunch of time mucking through a big five page, seven page rule book, 10, 15 page, 30 page rule book, trying to figure out, okay, how do we even play this game? We played through with relatively few hiccups and the hiccups were easy to resolve between the two of us. One of the downsides I will say about this game is that it doesn't really offer anything in the way of interaction aside from the combat. There are no spells that you can use to disrupt your opponent's strategy. It is very much we're going to go after each other with our creatures. So it can feel a bit simplistic in that way but other than that Overall, I do like the gameplay. Ultimately, Athenium is a game you can have a quick, easy, fun time with. That's how it went for me. So, if you like the look of it, you can grab it using the link that's down in the description or in the comment section. Big shout out to Ben Butcher for making the game, hooking me up with a copy of it, giving me this hoodie that has the unicorn on the back, and sponsoring this video. So again, links down below if you want to grab yourself a copy of the game. Other than that, enjoy these outtakes. What up, y'all? <laughs> what up, y'all? Oh, no, wait. I can't have the hood up. <laughs> what up, y'all? I'm coming straight out the hood. What? Ha <laughs> ha.